Welcome to AI Snippets. Please feel free to jump to a timestamp to listen to the snippet of your choice. Also like, share and subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss important AI news. In an exclusive interview with The Verge, Sam Altman confirmed the authenticity of QSTAR following a leak, responding with a vague statement. No particular comment on that unfortunate leak. Moreover, OpenAI also officially announced Altman's return as CEO, marking the one-year anniversary of ChatGPT's launch. The leadership team includes Myra Marathi as CTO and Greg Brockman as president, while the board features Brett Taylor, Larry Summers, and Adam D'Angelo, with Microsoft holding a non-voting and observer seat. Notably absent is chief scientist Ilya Sutskiva, with discussions ongoing about his role. Helen Toner and Tasha McCauley left their board seats, emphasizing no intention to impede OpenAI's progress. Questions persist about the motives behind the initial board changes. In a controversial interview at the New York Times Dealbook Summit, Elon Musk expressed his belief that artificial general intelligence is less than three years away. Musk asserted that AGI would possess the capability to write as good a novel as J.K. Rowling, discover new physics, or invent new technology. This bold prediction highlights Musk's optimistic timeline for the development of advanced AI with versatile intellectual capabilities. Although the statement is likely to be met with skepticism given the complexities and uncertainties surrounding AGI, development within the broader AI community. If you say smarter, if you say smarter than the smartest human at anything, you can write as good a novel as, say, J.K. Rowling or discover new physics or invent new technology, um, I would say that we are less than three years from that point. AI video startup Pika Lab secured a $55 million funding round coinciding with the launch of Pika 1.0 featuring significant upgrades to its text-to-video generator. Described as an idea-to-video platform, Pika allows users to generate AI videos by prompting with text, images, or existing videos. Notably, users can edit the AI-generated footage, adjusting outfits, altering styles, and expanding video aspects. These enhanced capabilities are accessible on both the web and Discord. Amidst fierce competition from tools like Runway and Stability AI, the funding highlights the growing importance of AI video technologies, prompting speculation about the imminent development of text-to-movie capabilities. The Pentagon is urgently pursuing the Replicator initiative, aiming to deploy thousands of autonomous drones and systems by 2026 in response to China's technological advancements. The initiative focuses on rapidly expanding AI attack and defense drones, with officials asserting human control, though experts foresee full autonomy in the near future. The combination of lethality and autonomy raises concerns about the potential lack of oversight. As the speed of AI development may surpass the military's ability to thoroughly test and validate these systems before deployment. The prospect of lethal autonomous technology in warfare prompts serious moral considerations emphasizing the need for stringent oversight as AI continues to play an increasingly prominent role in military strategies. The initiative reflects the ongoing technological competition between nations, emphasizing the urgency for ethical and regulatory frameworks to govern the development and deployment of autonomous weapons. That ability to make better and faster decisions than competitors and adversaries is central to what we are talking about with fielding of a lot of these new, new technologies. It's not technologies for the sake of technology. It's technologies that enable warfighters to make better and faster decisions. AI is central to our innovation agenda, helping us to compute faster and share better and leverage other platforms. And that's fundamental to the fights of the future.
SDXL Turbo, a real-time text-to-image generation model, achieves state-of-the-art performance with a novel distillation technique called adversarial diffusion distillation. This technology enables single-step image generation with unprecedented quality, reducing the required step count from 50 to just one. The model, available on Hugging Face under a non-commercial research license, maintains high sampling fidelity and is not yet intended for commercial use. ADD provides advantages similar to generative adversarial networks, offering single-step image outputs without artifacts or blurriness. In tests, SDXL Turbo outperforms other diffusion models in both image quality and computational efficiency, generating a 512 by 512 image in 207 milliseconds. A beta demonstration is available on Stability AI image editing platform, ClipDrop. Crea AI has launched the latest features, upscale and enhance, now accessible to users. This innovative AI tool empowers users to effortlessly enhance the quality and resolution of their images. The functionality is readily available to all Crea users at Crea.ai, offering a user-friendly solution for maximizing the visual appeal of images. The upscale and enhance features provide an easy and free way for users to elevate the overall quality and resolution of their images. Using Crea AI cutting-edge technology, Google DeepMind's new tool, GNOME, has leveraged graph-based AI to generate recipes for 2.2 million potentially stable inorganic compounds, marking a tenfold increase in known materials. The AI modified combinations of existing compounds from extensive materials databases, achieving an 80% success rate in generating potential structures using 48,000 compounds from the materials project. Of these, 3 lakh 81,000 materials are deemed synthesizable, with DeepMind releasing the code for public testing. The breakthrough includes new materials for battery and solar cell components that previous algorithms overlooked. This achievement underscores Google DeepMind's ongoing contribution to advancing science through powerful AI-driven data analysis. Itona, the first Spanish model generated by artificial intelligence, by the agency The Clueless. Facing difficulties with real models, the agency decided to craft their own influencer, Itona, who has gained over 121,000 Instagram followers. Itona's virtual life is curated by the agency, featuring a carefully designed personality and weekly activities. She earns income through advertisements and partnerships with brands even receiving private messages from celebrities who believe she's real. The success has led the agency to create another AI model named Maya. While the initiative has attracted brands seeking cost-effective and controllable representations, critics express concerns about promoting unrealistic beauty standards and highly sexualized images. The agency defends its approach, arguing that they are following existing industry aesthetics. These NVIDIA are founder brand new Jensen things Huang that the world's never had the opportunity AI to enjoy, big, huge expansion. Um, the that first it can wave lead to the creation of is the first, the, the way that we enjoy, which is uh, incredible startups that open AI Huang and others, that advancing uh, who AI can result you know, part in of the generative AI startups, time, drawing uh, parallels to internet how auto safety that's the first wave. Technological advancements. We're now beginning the second wave, and it's really triggered and kicked off by Copilot, Office of Windows 365 Copilot. Basically, the in enterprise view, generation. Existing regulations are the third generation, the third wave, AI is the wave that, that I think that is going different to be agencies can um, the largest wave of all. And the reason for that While some is because for a slowdown the vast majority of the world's industries run on it, which is heavy industries. And this is where progress, NVIDIA's Omniverse and Generative AI, AI is going to come together measures. to help heavy the industries digitalize the and benefit from, and from generative AI. AI development. So we're really, quite frankly, the barely in the of middle of the first wave. These are brand new things that the world's never had the opportunity to enjoy. Big, huge TAM expansion. Um, the first wave is the first, the, the wave that we enjoyed, which is uh, incredible startups at OpenAI and others uh, who create, who are part of the generative AI startups, uh, cloud internet services. That's the first wave. We're now beginning the second wave and is really triggered and kicked off by Copilot, Office uh, or Windows 365 Copilot, basically the enterprise generation. The third generation, the third wave is the wave that, that I think is going to be 
um, the largest wave of all. And the reason for that is because the vast majority of the world's industries run on it, yeah. which is heavy industries. And this is where NVIDIA's Omniverse and generative AI is going to come together to help heavy industries digitalize and benefit from, from generative AI. So we're really, quite frankly, barely in the middle of the first wave, starting the second wave. This is, yeah, this is going to be... I love that three waves. Perplexity Labs introduces two new online language models, PPLX 7B Online and PPLX. 70B online, aimed at delivering accurate, up-to-date, and factual responses, addressing limitations in current language models. The models, accessible via the PPLX API and Perplexity Labs LLM Playground, overcome challenges related to the freshness and hallucination issues common in many language models. Leveraging internet knowledge, these online models use open-sourced Mistral 7 billion and Llama 2 70 billion base models. Integrate in-house search technology for real-time information. And undergo fine-tuning with carefully curated training sets. This innovation allows the models to handle time-sensitive queries and provide reliable responses to dynamic information. Stability AI, a prominent open-source AI company, is reportedly considering a sale due to investor pressure following concerns about financial instability and management problems. Kochu, Stability AI primary investor, has called for the resignation of CEO Emad Mostake, who led the company's $101 million funding round a year ago. Although acquisition talks with Kahir and Jasper have taken place, Stability AI asserts it is not actively seeking a sale. The company faces internal cultural issues that have led to executive departures during rapid staff expansion. Despite its name, Stability AI potential sale raises questions about the future of this open source AI leader. In a recent Microsoft study, GPT-4 showcased impressive capabilities in radiology tasks, including summarization and disease classification, achieving state-of-the-art results. The model summaries were on par with or preferred over those of experienced human radiologists demonstrating its competence in automatically structuring complex reports into standardized formats. Researchers emphasized the potential of integrating GPT-4 to enhance disease interpretation, leverage real-world data, and improve patient education. This study underscores GPT-4's consistent contributions to AI medical breakthroughs, emphasizing its ability to advance diagnosis and streamline workflows in the field of radiology. The US and 17 other nations have signed a landmark agreement advocating for major AI systems to be secure by design, to combat hacking and misuse. This marks the first coordinated international initiative outlining safety-first principles for AI development. The non-binding deal emphasizes vetting suppliers, pre-release model testing to prevent hijacking, and provides general recommendations. However, it falls short of addressing critical issues like data training for models and appropriate AI uses. Despite these limitations, the agreement signifies a significant level of global cooperation on AI safety and underscores the US's efforts to catch up with Europe in tech regulation. Segmentation involves identifying and delineating individual objects, such as cells, in images, a task traditionally done by human experts. Early attempts at AI segmentation required extensive manual customization for each experiment. However, recent breakthroughs in deep learning, particularly with the UNET framework, have significantly improved the process. These advancements leverage large, diverse training datasets and novel strategies like human-in-the-loop approaches. Despite progress, challenges persist in handling 3D data, different imaging technologies, and achieving interoperability across platforms. Researchers anticipate further developments, including the use of transformer-based models. Successful AI segmentation opens doors to more complex applications in neuroscience and pathology. American officials are reportedly investigating the UAE's G42, a major AI firm, probing potential links with Chinese companies and expressing concerns about data and tech transfer risks. G42 recently partnered with OpenAI and has agreements with Microsoft and Dell. 
the CIA raised red flags about G42 collaborating with Huawei, warning it could facilitate the transfer of advanced US tech to China's military. G42 CEO, Peng Xiao, previously managed to talk, an Emirati app labeled as a spying tool aided by China. As AI capabilities become pivotal in global dynamics, this investigation highlights the escalating espionage and national security risks in the US-China AI race. Microsoft has announced a substantial $3.2 billion investment in the UK for cloud infrastructure and skills development, aiming to position the country as an AI powerhouse. Over three years, the investment will upgrade UK data centers with 20,000 advanced GPUs to meet the growing demand for AI. Additionally, Microsoft plans to train 1 million workers in technical skills such as machine learning and responsible generative AI. The collaboration extends to AI safety, with Microsoft adopting responsible AI principles across 25,000 UK partners. This partnership aligns with UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's goal of making the country a leading force in AI. Amazon Web Services has introduced Amazon Q, a generative artificial intelligence powered assistant designed for work. Amazon Q is tailored to customers' businesses, offering fast, relevant answers to questions, content generation, and action taking capabilities. It leveraged a customer's information repositories, code, and enterprise systems. The AI assistant is built with security and privacy in mind, personalizing interactions based on existing identities, roles, and permissions. Notably, Amazon Q does not use business customers' content to train its models. The tool aims to streamline tasks, accelerate decision-making, and spark creativity and innovation in the workplace. Amazon Q is available for preview, with general availability for specific applications coming soon. The new AI offering is positioned to transform how employees build, deploy, and operate applications and workloads on AWS. If you like this content, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon to be instantly notified of regular updates. Thanks for watching.